Just like its golden beaches and towering skyscrapers, meter maids are an icon of the Gold Coast. And now the girls in the gold bikinis are celebrating a milestone, 50 years of keeping those parking meters ticking over. They're the meter maids for whom the clock never stops ticking. 50 years and counting. Happy birthday to you. Today they celebrated five fabulous decades of protecting the public from parking inspectors. Here we are still talking about it and I would never have thought that would be the case. It all started in 1965 when the council introduced meters to help control parking at bustling surfers paradise. Businesses hit back by creating meter maids. Gillian Dean is one of the originals. So we were employed to put five cents into any expired parking meter. Illegal, it outraged the Gold Coast Council, but it was the bikinis they wore that caused more of a stir. Over the years, those uniforms have seen plenty of variations, but never lost favour with tourists. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> well, it's like a beautiful, like you know, view, and I like with them as like you know, Texas. It's the girls or the beach? What is it? Everything I like with sort of paradise. The gig isn't as easy as it looks. It is commission based because unfortunately we don't receive any funding from anyone. And can have its downfalls. When they were renovating the mall, I actually fell over in front of Hungry Jacks and had like a big <laughs> scrape up my leg. But it was meter maid Roberta Aitchinson who really caused the stir in 1990 when she posed for Penthouse. It saw the Surfers Paradise Business Chamber withdraw their financial support after 35 years. Now Roberta believes the council should fund this tourist icon. And wouldn't it be great for people to come here and not have to pay for a photograph or give a donation to a girl for a photograph? Shannon Marshall McCormack, Nine News.